Hello, everyone. Let me turn the camera up. There we go. Hello everyone, I'm Martin Lung, video game pianist, and welcome to the Final Fantasy Friday stream. In this stream, I'll play music from Final Fantasy, and I'll also take super chat requests. So if you want to make a request for me to play, it doesn't necessarily have to be Final Fantasy music, but it, it should be within the realm of video game music. I'll play your request, and check out the video description below for the description how to do a super chat. All right, so I'll begin with the Final Fantasy Prelude composed by Nobu Uematsu. So <clears throat> that's the Final Fantasy Prelude. Now we have a moderator in the chat. We have some chat rules, no spamming, no witch hunting, no being rude, no uh, spamming the chat, of course, and uh, following what Eduardo says. So uh, there's a mod in place to keep uh, everything in check and in order. So please respect the moderators. Thank you. And now I will continue with the Final Fantasy 
uh, Celeste from Final Fantasy VI. That was Final Fantasy VI Celeste. Now I'll play Final Fantasy VI Kids Running Through the City Corner.
All right, and another rule is please only chat in English in the chat, please. And uh, please, yeah, please be respectful to everybody. Uh, the moderators uh, reserve the right to ban people for any reason if they're being disrespectful or rude or annoying. So we all want this to be uh, a very friendly stream for everybody. The next piece I will play is Kefka from Final Fantasy VI. SP250, that was an electronic piano, and I prefer to play on an acoustic piano because the action of the keyboards responds better, and I can get a greater variety of sound. On an electronic piano, there's a limitation to how much sound I can produce and, and how, how loud I can play and how soft I can play. There's a limitation on that, and for acoustic piano, it's the real thing. And for acoustic piano, you can create something very loud or very soft, even within uh, even greater uh, range of dynamics. And with the, I learned piano, piano technique and how to control the sound on a grand piano. And sometimes when you play it on an electronic piano, it's frustrating because there's a certain sound I want to create and an electronic piano, it doesn't come through because the electronic piano doesn't pick up all the nuances that I'm creating with the, with the sound I want to create. So that's one reason. And, and yes, yeah, so there's just uh, infinite more variety of sounds one can create on an acoustic piano versus an electronic piano. So I, I really uh, enjoy performing on this acoustic piano. So 
this is uh the sound quality on the acoustic piano will be much better, much more interesting to hear too. I would prefer not to, I, I don't, I, I would not want to play electronic piano uh, in a concert because uh, most professional pianists, when they perform, they perform on a grand piano of at least six feet in length. And that's the standard uh, requirements uh, for professional pianists to play on so um and it would have to be yes uh and a piano have to be tuned of course so um i go by what other uh the standard is for the professional concert artists so now the next piece i'll play is spinach reg from final fantasy 6 from Germany thank you and hello from France bonjour guten tag so uh, that is great that you can join the stream from Europe even though you're about what eight or nine hours ahead of uh, Pacific Standard Time thank you everyone so now let's continue with the Final Fantasy theme and now I'll play Sid's theme from Final Fantasy 7 
we will play guess the theme later on if there are $60 in super chats or greater today. Thank you, General JJ. All right, now I'll play Final Fantasy Eyes on Me. Yes, yeah, 60 US dollars. If there are equivalent, uh, a total of 60 US dollars in Super Chats total, then that activates the Guess the Theme game. But the Guess the Theme game will not be activated unless there are 60 dollars in Super Chats today, total. Yes, uh, if there are sixty dollars total in super chats, <clears throat> in other words, uh, if people donate the super chat and the uh, the total amount exceeds sixty dollars, then the guess the theme game gets activated. But to make a super chat, you just need to make a super chat of at least five US dollars minimum, depending on what you're super chatting. So check out the description below in the video section. Now I'll play Eyes on Me. I started playing the piano when I was two years old. And I've been playing the piano for many years since then.
Yes, that was Melodies of Life from Final Fantasy. So, thank you. Now, I'll play Waltz for the Moon. the super chat Gerardo Garcia and by loud chair yes I can play the milk bar theme from Majora's Mask sure thank you yes it waltz is very exciting it reminds me of a lot of people dancing you've seen the video from Final Fantasy of the people dancing they all dress up in fancy costumes it's a really upscale event All right, so now we're on the subject of super chat. So as you see, uh, Gerardo Garcia made a super chat and when you make a super chat, your text is in a different color and it takes up a big portion of the chat window. So a lot of people can see it. It's very noticeable. So that's uh, the way um, the super chat works. And also while we're on the topic of super chat, there's one super chat I need to get to that from the stream yesterday that I didn't get to. So. That was because I had to go and uh, so that super chat from yesterday it will carry over to this stream. So um, that super chat is uh, is a marble, a, a song made by a marble machine. So I will uh, play that piece and improvise on it. And then we'll get to Gerardo Garcia's super chat. So this is a marble machine and this transcription is done by mind David underscore 89. So I will uh, sight read this and then I'll improvise on it. Let's 
So let me load this up. Hello, Dio Sama. Your own shipment is up to you. All right, Mitchell, you're being annoying. Okay, so happy new year to you, Natalie. I think I remember you. Uh, I know uh, your last, your, the last letter of your last name ends with an S. Is that correct? I know the cho uh, Chocobo theme. A little bit. I played that on one of my double bass streams a few days ago. All right, so but now let's stay on uh, the Super Chat for now. And now we'll do a uh, the Marvel Machine. Uh, this already transcribed. You know, sight read it, improvise on it. So I see Natalie. Cool. Hello, Yo Yo Rocks. All right, so let me uh, play this Marvel Machine piece so everybody gets an idea what it is. It's from a YouTube video. Uh, this person has made a contraption. It looks like this, and it's called Winter Gaten. This is the band that's playing this piece, and uh, it's a Marvel Machine. There are like 2,000 marbles here, and it creates uh, music out of it, out falls like this. So that's the piece I'll play. Yes, I can do Final Fantasy 15 requests. But I don't know Final Fantasy 15 off the top of my head at the moment. All right, so this is um this is what I'll transcribe or what I'll play on the piano. Now, of course, the piano here it doesn't pick up those marble sounds as much as it would do here. So I'll play uh, the transcription up on this higher register of the piano for now. So uh, Tulio Tonhiro, if you're unable to super chat, you can make a donation via PayPal. And then you can let me know, type in the chat that you make a donation to through PayPal. Uh, tag the moderator Eduardo W. So he will also know too. And then I'll check my uh, PayPal. And if I see the donation went through, then I'll do super chat. So yeah, there's even a back, that's the backup plan if you, uh, for those of you who are unable to do a super chat for whatever reason. And thank you, JJ, for the super chat. The thing is, for this uh, super chat, I do not know this piece, Final Fantasy IX Unrequited Love. So the minimum super chat for that would be 10 US dollars for that. But I will credit you for that $2 for now. If you'd like to make another super chat for five, if you'd like to make a super chat for a piece that is already on my repertoire list, it doesn't have to be Final Fantasy, of course. That would just be five US dollars. So you would just need to super chat three dollars more for that. All right, so let's get to the marble machine.
So now I'll improvise on the Marble Machine now. And this was requested by a super chatter by Toby Minsraft.
Thank you, Toby Minsraf, for the super chat. <clears throat> and that was the Marble Machine uh, by Wittergaten by M. Molin and is by transcription by mine David underscore eighty nine and also improvised in it in the middle part. <clears throat> Thank you, Eduardo. Yep. <clears throat> And <clears throat> bonjour, Quentin. Hello. Uh, so that's great. Uh, people are from Europe and uh, from all over the world. Okay, so now we can get on to the, the next super chat. And the next super chat is by Gerardo Garcia. And this is the melt bar theme from Majora's Mask. Uh, I think it went, goes like this. No, that's Costa de la Soul from Final Fantasy VII, uh, Final Fantasy. So, uh, yeah, so let me check out these uh, Melt Bar because it's been a while since I played that. Let me learn from my own YouTube video. Let's see how I play this. Yeah, it's, sound, it's like the same vibe as Costa de la Soul. Oh, obrigado, tu, Tuilo Tonjero. Obriga, mucho obrigado. Yes, I can play uh, Dancing Mad Kefka Stream from Final Fantasy VI. Yes, the. The one in C-sharp minor. Alright, let me hear how this goes. It depends, Luke, on the complexity of it. If there are like 10 voices going all at once, it's really difficult. But if it's just one melody, then it doesn't take that long. My favorite video game series to play uh, Super Mario. Okay, here it goes. Milk Bar from Final Fan uh sorry, Milk Bar from Zelda Majora's Mask.
All right, so thank you for the super chat. That was Milk Bar from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Yes, I study the, uh, I practice double bass and I play violin for a year, for two years in elementary school. So sometimes I do streams in the evening for me practicing my double bass on Twitch. So check out my Twitch uh, page. So usually in the evening, around 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I practice my bass. All right, so thank you everyone for the, the comments and the super chats. So let's go to Tulio Ton Hero's uh, super chat of Dancing Mad from Kafka's theme, Kafka's theme from Final Fantasy VI. All right. Can can. <laughs> So now, let's play uh, Dancing Mad. Yes, it is funny. Can can piece. You can change your currency, uh, you just, yes, you just need to make sure it's with a five US dollars minimum. All right, here it goes. Here's Dancing Mad Final Tier from Final Fantasy VI as super chatted by Tulio Tonhero. And I'll also, um, I'll insert uh, uh, the girl from Ipanema in the middle of the piece as well.
Dancing Mad Final Tear from Final Fantasy VI. So, thank you for the super chat. Mucho obrigado, Julio Tonhero. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Eduardo. All right, so now we'll continue with the Final Fantasy theme of today because today is Final Fantasy Friday. For several, for different days of the week, there are different themes. Like on Monday, there's a Super Mario Monday theme. Thursday is Throwback Thursday, where I play pieces from the way back about 10 years or earlier or longer than that. So uh, Mario Monday is for playing Super Mario music. Friday is for playing Final Fantasy music. I see. Okay, I'll try to listen to uh, the, the musician, and he's also a poet, I see. Okay. Cool. 
All right, so now I'll play another Final Fantasy piece. This is in contrast to Dancing Mad, this, more, uh, this uh, calm and soothing and kind of melancholy piece. It is Final Fantasy X, Suteki Dane. Yes, I could play uh, Be Said Island Piano Collections. Yes, Jason.
And that was Final Fantasy X Shiteki Dane by Nobu Uematsu. And it's the Piano Collections version, so I believe it was arranged by uh, Hama Hamauchi. Is that how his name is pronounced? Let's see. Yamauchi, right? No, that's the Nintendo president. Who's the, the pianist who arranged the Final Fantasy piano collections for Final Fantasy X? Uh, Shiro Hamaguchi, yes. So that was arranged by Shiro Hamaguchi. All right, so we have more Super Chats on the way here. And just to check up on uh, General JJ. Yes, so I'll credit you the $2 for that Super Chat. So um, if you would make another Super Chat or something, then I will be able to fulfill that. But the minimum is $5 for a piece of my repertoire list and $10 US for a piece that I that is not on my repertoire list. Okay, so the next Super Chat is by Akaiki. So Akaiki is, are you from Germany? Is, do I, do I know, do I think I know, do I know, is it, are you who I think you are? <laughs> All right, so moment of recall from Final Fantasy Brave XVS. I've, I do not know that game. Let's see how this is. Oh, you're French, oh bonjour. All right, so this is something I would transcribe on the piano. So now I'll, I'll figure out the notes by ear and write it out. I see it, so.
All right, so here it is. I transcribed the piece. Here we go. This is Moment of Recall from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Akaiki. So, merci beaucoup. And thank you for the super chat, Jason Derubai. Derubai. Did I pronounce your name correctly? All right, so B said island. So this is Beset Island Piano Collections from Final Fantasy X, also arranged by Shiro Hama, Hamaguchi. Is that how you pronounce the name? Yeah, it's arranged by Shiro Hamaguchi. Shiro Hamaguchi. All right, here we go. Thank you. 
There it is. Beside Island Fanfana Fancy 10. Thank you. So it's, uh, it's a really beautiful piece. It reminds me of being in a lush forest and adventuring around, traveling, exploring the forest and seeing the sunsets and like seeing like the ocean and being on top of a, a mountain. You see the expanse all around you, especially this part. <laughs> me of like being being at the nighttime of the evening part uh because Some long time to see. Yes, I played uh, Beside Island. Thank you, Eduardo. So, can our man, you have to make a super chat request for five US dollars for that. And yes, I can play the Luigi's Mansion theme. All right, so now I'll play Sight of Spira. So, there are no other super chats. So I'll play uh, Sight of Spira from Final Fantasy X. Hello, Logical Azura. This is also from Piano Collections, arranged by Shiro Yamaguchi, Hamaguchi. Sight of Spira from Final Fantasy X, and that's right, Cat6768, and thank you for joining the stream. Good to see you. Yes, it is, uh, yeah, it's not from the Piano Collections book, right. And thank you for the super chat for Thunder Points Piano Collection. I, I played this piece about 16 years ago, so I remember reading it. So, yes, this is, even though this is not in my repertoire list, I am, uh, yes, I, uh, I should, uh, usually a uh, piece of not my repertoire list is $10, but this time I'll just let it go this time. So let me see if I can find that sheet music for it. And thank you, Aaron Chipman, for the $5 Canadian. I think that's around the US dollars, right? The same uh, possibility. 
All right, so I'll get to your super chat, Aaron, after to Kat's super chat. So just a minute, I'll be right back. All right, so here's the music. And thank you, Nguyen Min. Okay, the sheet PDF files under the subscription. I'm not sure what you mean by where is the subscription, but we'll get to that later. All right, Thunder Planes. So, Cat6768, if I'm not mistaken, Thunder Planes, is it this one? <laughs> It is that one. All right. Thank you. Cool. All right. So there are some patrons in here. So let me see if I can find a PDF version of the sheet music on so I can a patron on my iPad. So I do own this sheet music. Here it is. So I'm, I have it here. So I just trying to find a PDF version. All right, let's see if there's a PDF version here so I can use my foot paddle to turn the pages. Uh, let's see. Yes, usually the, the videos will be available to be uh, uh, on YouTube. Yes, sir. Many super chats. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you. Okay, here it is. Oh, the previous, uh, I, I, I got mixed up with what the previous uh, uh, Final Fantasy piece I did for Piano Collections wasn't by uh, Shiro Hamaguchi. I mean, I think Spider Side of Spear was from Shiro Hamaguchi, but I got that confused with Masashi Hamazu. So that was Masashi Hamazu uh, range, uh, like the Beset Island, uh, the, um, and uh, Shitaki Dane and and other pieces. So yes, there's there are, yeah there's other uh, range I got got mixed up with. 
So if you're confused, just Google the piece, uh, Google the name of the piece and you'll find the, the composer and the manger there. So sorry about the mix up. All right, so here's Slender Planes from Final Fantasy X. And turn the page tuner to turn it on. All right. Let's see. Yep, it works. All right. Uh, it's. I I think I I able to get it from uh, Google Drive. Uh, thanks, Eduardo. Anyways. Thank you for the super chat, Cat6768. Perhaps I can play the entire book, but I don't know all the pieces in the book. But yes, there's a lot of beautiful pieces in here. So, so you're a long time uh, viewer, Cat6768, and uh, you've done several super chats before, so I'll do an encore for you. And I will play Path to Repentance from Final Fantasy X here. So it's from the piano collections here. So to save the page turning uh, issue in the book, I'll find a PDF here. And then afterwards we'll get to the other uh, super chats. So hang tight for those who do the other super chats. So I'll get to those, I'll get to those in a second.
Oh, I'm talking path of repentance that comes up with a lot of uh, religious uh, uh, Google search results. All right, let's see. Uh, well, the speed is relatively slow. I think I should be able to manage the page turns here. Okay, found it. Okay, here's Path to Repentance. Pedro Martinez is hard to uh, decide which one is uh, my best, uh, my favorite soundtrack. Um, I like Final Fantasy X uh, because that was part of a moment in my life when uh, I was growing up in, in high school and, uh, uh, and a lot of my friends were excited about the game and it just evoked a world of uh, freedom and exploration when I was growing up. So, um, so I guess Final Fantasy X uh, is my favorite soundtrack because of uh, not just because of the musical content, but also because of um, how it was inspiring to my life at that time, and still is, of course. So. Here is Final Fantasy X, Path of Repentance, or Path to Repentance.
So thank you for the super chat, Cat6768. Six, 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 That's um, Encore for Path of Repentance from Final Fantasy X. path of repentance all right so now let's get to the next super chats next super chat is by Aaron Chipman and Aaron requests Super Mario Odyssey Bowser's Castle 2 all right so let me see if there's sheet music for this and then I could improvise on it All right, I see there's uh, some orchestral arrangement of this. Um, let's see it so let's look if it's on an intense sheet music All right, bye, Aki, Akaiki. All right, so I don't see uh, Bowser's Castle from Super Mario Odyssey here. I do see this orchestral arrangement. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, so the thing, Aaron Chipman. So the thing is, uh, it's not this piece isn't on my wiper to our list. So you need to make a super chat of at least ten U.S. dollars. So you need to make a super chat of at least five more U.S. dollars. 
So I forgot that this isn't put on my repertoire list. All right, so in the meantime, let's go to Nguyen Min's uh, super chat. So. Go to the link. Okay, so this is Jump Up Superstar arranged by Hayato. All right, let me just sift look through this quickly. All right. This is a very challenging sight reading piece. Okay, here it goes. And if you notice the first six notes, this. You know where that is from? That's from the underwater theme from Super Mario Brothers 1. It goes. This one goes. That's from underwater theme in this part. It's from. That's a theme, but it's it's used in a different way. So we call it thematic uh, transformation. So watch out for thematic transformation in this piece. Here it goes. Let me just look through this really quickly.
Thank you, Dakota. Yeah, so I'll play it a little slower at a little slower tempo because I, yeah. Good idea, Eduardo. <laughs> yes. So in that case, I'll play one note per minute, right? Thank you, Aaron Chipman, for the super chat. So we'll get to your super chat after the jump up superstar super chat. Hi, JG. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're making the double bass stream. Yo, yo, rocks. <laughs> As a JG's entry theme. All right. So now let's try to jump up superstar um, super chat.
So that was uh, my sight reading of this uh, transcription and arrangement of Jump Up Superstar. And thank you, Nguyen Min, for the super chat. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Eduardo. All right, so now let's get to the next super chat. And it is by uh, Aaron Chipman. It's Super Mario Odyssey Bowser's Castle 2. All right, so there doesn't seem to be uh, piano sheet music for this. So I'll have to look this up and transcribe it. Uh, yeah, so JG, I have, to I have to filter out what is possible. And, and I know how the melody goes and the harmonic progressions and the overall structure. So at least I have some blueprint of where I should be and where the music is going. That's also important to know where the music is going in this case, because that will give you insight on in how, uh, how the music will go. If I didn't know the music, uh, was totally unfamiliar with it and had to sight read this, it'd be more difficult to even figure out uh, what were the main notes and the melody and things like that. So, um, so yes, uh, being familiar with the piece uh, gives about like 50% uh, uh, advantage uh, over not knowing uh, a piece at all and having to sight read a, a complex piece. All right, so here is uh, Bowser's Castle 2. Thank you, JG. This music is really wild. Yeah, so it does not sound like a Bowser's theme. It doesn't sound like... seems like Bowser hired some piccolos and uh, flautists to play because I see all of 
all this type of music here. I guess Bowser likes that sound of the piccolo. <laughs> Yeah, so it would be very interesting. All right, so let me see um, on the arrangement on music score, the, the orchestral one, because the orchestral version uh, may have some value for me to play it, because a lot of that, the, the solos part might be transcribed that way. Now I have... What about this one? Right, uh, the ultra latency option is on here, so there's hardly much delay. All right, so actually this uh, arrangement or transcription by Spencer Rifle as of, is a great value for me as a pianist to play it because a lot of the solos are transcribed here with the right rhythm. All right. So here it goes. I will be reading this orchestral uh, transcription here. So this is, there are many, it's not like a piano score where there's just a treble and bass clap, but there are many instruments here. And uh, I'll try to read it as best I can. So let me read it through one more time with a score just to make sure I everything is translating right.
All right, so now I'll play this piece now. All right, wow, well, I'm glad it's your best day ever in Wen Min. Here it goes. for the super chat so that was super mario odyssey uh as super chatted by aaron chipman super mario odyssey bowser's castle 2 so i see there's a trend in, in bowser music he likes e minor right so uh also the e minor and super mario 3 world when <laughs> Super chat. All right. So now 
Let's go on to the next super chat. And it's by SM. And SM requests a Final Fantasy X, uh, uh, Final Fantasy XV Somnus Instrumental. All right, so this is in one of my pieces on my repertoire list. So the super chat requirement is 10 US dollars for that SM. So if you please uh, uh, increase the super chat five US dollars more. All right, so in the meantime, we'll get to, I'll play some more Final Fantasy pieces. So today's, the topic of today's stream, or the theme of today's stream is Final Fantasy Fridays. So, let's see, what, what next Final Fantasy piece should I play? I'll play two Xanocan from Final Fantasy X. Thank you for the uh, super chat, uh, increase it to 10 US dollars SM. And thank you for the super chat, Cat6768. So I got the super chats pouring in. Great, thank you. And thank you, Natalie. All right, so let's get to SM super chat. And it is uh, Final Fantasy 15 Somnus Instrumental. All right, so let's have a listen to that.
This is a very free piece. There's a lot of rubato here, so it's giving me trouble trying to transcribe the rhythm.
All right. So now let me see. Oh, this in the beginning. All right, so here's Somnus instrumental version. This is requested by SM. So here it goes.
Well, thank you, SM, for the super chat. That was Final Fantasy XV Somnus instrumental version. Thank you, Eduardo, and thank you, JG. Thank you, Zachary. Thanks, Dakota. That's a very spiritual piece. All right, so let's get to the next super chat. Thanks, Chad. All right, so let's get to Cat6768 Super Chat. Final Fantasy 13 Sarah's theme. And tips for you to play it as well. All right. So, so for Sarah's theme, I don't know that piece, so I know you super chatted two dollars before that six, so if you could super chat two more dollars, then that would make it ten US dollars because that's not a piece on my repertoire list, so I don't know that one. Uh I'll have to go probably after this uh after this one. Uh you've been a great audience, so we can play guess the theme after this super chat, then I gotta go. But the winner of the guess the theme you have to make uh, the request it has to be a piece that I know for the guest of theme because uh, I I'll have to go uh, uh, soon. Uh, so yeah, it will have to be a piece that I know for you to request. I hope you're feeling better, Trulio. Uh, I will not be here streaming an hour from now, Dakota, but uh, hopefully I'll stream uh, later today. Depends on my schedule. I'll just see uh, what else I have to do. All right, so. Let's see. Okay, so today, uh, for now, this is the last uh, super chat of today. So I'll turn off Super Chats. I mean, last Super Chat of the streaming uh, stream right now. I may stream later today, but I'm not exactly sure if or when that would happen. All right, so let's... All right, yes, we have passed the $60 uh, Super Chat total, and that unlocks the Guess the Theme game. So um, I will do uh, Cat6768's uh, Super Chat, and then we'll do uh, Guess the Theme.
Oh, okay, that's all. Okay, so this SM since this piece is much more simpler than the other uh, pieces uh, to transcribe. So yes, the the six uh, is, it'll be fine for this time. But uh, next time, uh, for everybody has to be it has to be uh, ten dollars uh, for, for everything from now on. But it's not my repertoire list. All right, so I'm gonna play again. So Night Child, I learned music, I had piano lessons. Oh, I learned to read sheet music early, early on. All right, so here is a serious theme from Final Fantasy 13 as super chatted by Cat6768. And Cat6768 would like some tips on this. So, uh, it's hard for me to tell you what to do because I don't know like how long you've been studying piano, what pieces you played before. So whatever I say, it's, I'm, uh, I need more information about your experience in playing the piano in order to give you uh, uh, things that, that tips that will be helpful. All right, Pavel uh, Privet, uh, can you speak English, uh, please? Spasiba. So here's Sarah's theme.
Well, thank you for the super chat, Cat6768. Oh, wow. That's great, Tulio Tonhero. Thank you, Lemon. So, wow. Yeah, that was a quick dinner. So this piece is in a style of a song and uh, so one way to uh, imp important part of playing piano is knowing the background information and and understanding what's not only on, on the notes but also what's behind the notes as well. So I want to play in a way with the singing tone of the singing touch for the melody you want to figure out what the story is about. Uh, this seems to be, the lyrics seems to be about the singer. She's singing to somebody. Um, trying to change somebody, perhaps. I don't know, I haven't played the game, but uh, it's a very a soothing song and it's full of love. So understanding that and the story behind it and trying to tell a story when you're playing the piano that that is also important too so uh, pianistically advice i can give you i don't know cat six seven eight six eight because i don't know how you play and how long you've been playing and and things like that so well good luck cat six seven six eight hello Wow, <laughs> family, the whole family's attending the concert. Thank you, Julio. So, hola. All right, so now we have time for guest theme, a quick guest theme. So this will be a short guest theme. So are you all ready? So hopefully you've read the guest theme rules in the video description so you know how it goes. The first person to correct to identify the piece gets one point. If you get up to five points, you win guess the theme and you can make a request and the request has to be something I know already. So I can play it as soon as uh, you request it. Thank you, Quentin QB. Hope to see you again. All right, so. I see Zorm is not here, but perhaps uh, there's another person uh, Another username. I don't know. All right. So, um, so now let's continue with the first guess of theme, and here it is. So spelling counts. You can use abbreviations. Uh, you need hyphens for some pieces. Uh, Pokemon. You need the accent over the e. Okay. So here's the first piece.
Molokania Woods is not something I'm familiar with, that, that title. I know it as Song Silence Before the Storm. But let's see if Molokania Woods This doesn't sound like what I played. Nope, this is not Malkini Woods. It's Final Fantasy X, Silence Before the Storm. Alright, so here's the next guess the theme. <laughs> Eduardo gets one point. Here's the next theme. Hi, Cat6768. Yes, I played Final Fantasy 13. So check on the video upload and it will be there. Correct, Frederick Chopin. It is Final Fantasy VI Mystic Forest. Frederick Chopin, you get one point. All right, so here's the next guess the theme. <laughs> the point is Chopin's revolutionary etude opus 10 number 12 and Frederick Chopin quite uh ingenious to write eternal sonata revolution etude Eduardo gets another point all right so here's the next guess the theme Congratulations, JG, you get one point.
It is the victory fanfare from Final Fantasy. Five points, Frederick Chopin. All right, here's the next guess the theme. Kirby's Green Greens, and the point goes to JG. So you need to write the, the Kirby's Dream Land as specific. But all right, so Dakota, I'll give you a point as well because that was close for you as well. All right, so here's the next guess the theme. W, one point, Super Mario Land 2 athletic theme. All right, so here's the next guess the theme. That's just Overworld 1 from Super Mario Brothers 3 and JG gets a point. So Athletic from Super Mario Brothers 3 is this one. Alright, bye Dakota. All right, so let's go into the next theme. That wasn't part of the guess the theme. Overworld implies overworld one. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the next round of guess the theme. All 
Eduardo W gets a point. It's SMB3 Toad's house. And Eduardo is at game points. All right. Here's the game point now. This theme is worth two points. Pixie theme, Nguyen Min, correct. But unfortunately, Nguyen Min, you left out the theme, the E in theme. However, uh, you don't need to write theme as part of the rules. So just this time, I'll give you the two points when You go by Min or when. All right, so here's the next guess the theme. And JG gets a point. It is two Xanarkin from Final Fantasy X. All right, here's the next guess the theme. gets a point it's a final fantasy 10 and final fantasy 10 final battle all right so here's the next guess the theme here's the next theme Thank you. 
and congratulations, Eduardo. You win the guess the theme today. All right, so what is your request, Eduardo? I'll get a, uh, a quick break while we type the request. All right, so here's Eduardo's request, variations on Rosalina's Comet Observatory from Super Mario Galaxy.
All right, thank you everyone for joining the stream. That was a lot of fun. So you're a great audience, thank you. All right. That may have been a Chopin ancient reference at the end there with those arpeggios, but it's up to your imagination. <laughs> All right, so I gotta go now. So hope to see you next time. Follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I'll stream next because I post on my Twitter when I'll do the next stream and also my Facebook page and also my Twitch page because I stream my double bass practice sessions on Twitch as well. So check out my Twitch page page, and, and Instagram as well. And check out my Patreon as well. And thank you all. And congratulations to Eduardo for winning today's Guess the Theme. All right, goodbye everyone, see you next time.